in this video, I'll be showing you how to make this. Not that, this. And I'll be showing how to make this. No, no, not Jacob. That's another story. That's another video for another time. It's not yet. I actually meant that. So here we are. This is this is this is the the waste of space area. So this is obviously be where I'll be putting my glass cup holder thingamajiggy. So obviously match the same as the shelves because obviously you've got to have it matching. You've got to be the same. It doesn't have to be, but I'm going to do it the same because that's me. You can do it because you can do something completely different. Your project, do what you want, but my project, I'm doing it so it matches. Now, don't underestimate a bit of cardboard. It's always wise to do a template first to see if you can actually get it right size before wasting a load of time cutting into the actual material and obviously wasting material as well. Now I've done exactly that. I made a template. In fact, I made several templates and I actually now came up with this. This is my final finish. So how I got there was I sort of placed that where I thought it would go. And then I saw literally I placed a glass and adjusted the glass to see if it would cause any problems. My first template was actually too short. The glass was constantly hitting then. Half of it was actually hanging over the front. The other one was slightly too big. I sort of tweaked it several times. And this is the concept I finished up with. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this, go back into the workshop and start making our actual base. Now bear in mind, I'm only making two of these and the other two by the door are going to be a different size, so also we'll come back later on and do another template for those. Back to the workshop. That wasn't that nice and quick, eh? Right, we've got our template, we've got our wood. I'm going to simply marry that onto there, pencil mark the template, cut the wood out, and then take the next step from there. But first, let's just get on with that. So here's the template, remove that, we get the lines. Now you're not going to get a precision cut with a jigsaw, so quite simply I didn't try to achieve it. Hence the reason why you can still see the pencil lines. I'm now going to go over these pencil lines with a metal rule, just so I can get some nice straight defined edges. And then I'm going to plane them down to get the final finish. Now we've got the actual blank made, what we've now got to do is give it a bit of character. So what we are going to do is simply just take the corners off. Do it now. Oh. Oh. Now the next stage to do, but just to give these a bit of a softer look, I'm going to quickly run, run them on the, on the dish sander. Just a quick once around, just to soften these edges, make it a little bit more, and more attractive to look at. There we are, isn't that softer looking? I think that's quite nice that, it's not so rough, it's, it's nice and smooth, just like the last one. Now what we now need to do is make a support for where this is obviously gonna go against the wall, it needs just a tiny little support. So off camera, was made, just one of these, out of a bit of off cut, and I'm gonna simply just, just pong that there. Once I've done that, I'm gonna to to put two tack nails in, a bit of glue, and then we're gonna discuss our copper surround. But I'm gonna make this look a bit prettier. There we are, nice and pretty. So let's glue and nail. So the next stage is basically we've got to do the copper dues we watch here around here, right? Remember last time we used the old spring? Well, I've done some experimentation, done it originally out of 15 mil copper pipe. It looked absolutely grotesquely hideous because. Basically, long and short of it, it was just too big. It looked stupid. So, a downside. 10 mil copper piping, 10 mil slice, some mini pipe benders. So we're gonna use all these tools to roughly work out the length I need out of that, and then shape it, cut it, just like before. 
put a, get out of the way. Put a T in the middle and two elbows at the back. The worst thing about this stuff is it comes in a coil. Right. Love you, see bear. Right, so now they've got our cutters, our elbows, our T. That's a shiny pipe. Shiny, shiny. It's not perfectly flat. Roughly work out in the middle, and I now have to mimic that shape. Now we've got to do is work out where these are going. I am now going to put a T piece in there to give it extra support. And be honest with you, that's the only reason why I'm putting it in there. I actually prefer it without the support. You see, see what I mean? But the problem is, it's ne therefore not strong enough. So I'm going to put it in. If you think different, then also just let me know in the comments. Be nice to know what you guys think. But anyway, I'm going to cut it. Now all I've got to do is make some little teensy wincy upstands just so it raises it up a little bit higher just so the bottom of this is almost the same height as that. Right, so there's our three little bits. We will position that nicely because it's soft wood. Should be able to push down that. Is this a mark? It's a hole. One, two, three. That's where we're going to drill it. Because I don't want to go all the way down, I don't want to make the hole, the hole in depth of that. I want to leave just a little bit exposed. So I've got my drill bit, put a bit of tape round to mark off a certain depth. And there we are, that bit of depth. So that's what I'm going to do. But I've got some birds coming off on here. Don't worry about those. Simply tuck those all in place. With what they will have to have is little pinches when you've got this and you want to pop that in place like so see it's already holding itself technically i don't need to glue it but i will do i'm gonna do it off camera you don't really need to see me do it again because you've already seen it in the previous video i'm going to take this all apart again glue it spray it with lacquer put it all back together again i have cleaned it glued it secured it and gave it the rest of the woodwork a bit of a, a clean up as well but nonetheless there we are there's there's the, the drinks holder before anybody comments, the reason why I've not done it like that is quite simple. Don't worry, it is six o'clock, totally legal. If you have the drink that way, which yes, makes sense, you'll always have that clumsy person in the family or, for, or friend who will try and pour off and try to hook it. That's why I've done it that way. There's no way of hooking the glass. Doesn't that not make sense? Eh? Capiche? Right. Oh, hang on. Ooh. So now all we have to do is for this final little piece is drill a couple of securing holes, preferably so you don't see them. So when the unit goes against the wall, it'll be secured on the underside. And then from the top side, when you're actually in there, you won't see them. So I'll get on with that. So there you are. As you saw in the video, there are no screws or markings whatsoever on the top side. Yes, there are on the bottom side, but you know, you're never gonna please anybody. And plus, you gotta find a magical way to secure them if you don't have any screws. So I deem this is now complete, other than actually finally fitting it, it's completed. Off camera, I made two. Grow up. So now they're done, I've got two more to make. I'm going to do this off camera because it's pretty much the same method. At the end of making them, I'll show you all four together before I actually fit them. So I'll basically see you then. Right now, all four shells are now being completed. I'm going to call these ones the middle shells. As you can see, they're all nice and done, all nice and lacquered, and nice and shiny, shiny, shiny. And I've got the corner ones here. Obviously, they look very slightly different because obviously, they're for a corner. So those with the Hawkeye are probably thinking, why do you not put a T support on the other two? And quite frankly, I just don't think it needed it. I think the T bar or T support would have been too much. 
so therefore I didn't put it in. But nonetheless, if you guys think differently, then also let us know in the comments below. It'd be nice to read some of your feedbacks on that. And again, to some of those with the Hawkeye, you may have noticed that this one here has got a support. Again, quite a simple reason for that. Where does it sit in a corner? I can actually fit a screw on that side to give it that stability. The middle shells don't actually have that support, hence the reason why it's got that bit of stability. So without further ado, I'm now going to go up to the Hobbit House and install it. So here we are in the Hobbit House. This is the corner one. There we are. Obviously you need some screws to hold in the place, but that's pretty much the gist of it. I'm just going to get on and just fit them in place now. So, enjoy. There we have it, four wonderful shells, as you can see, not all that big, big enough to fit on one decent beer glass on there, which by the way, this is my own home brew, if you want to know how to make your own home brewing kit, then check out the link above, or you can fit three wine glasses in there, bear in mind my barbecue cup can fit 15 people in it, so ideally three wine glasses on each one. Far in the corner ones where they're going to really fit back to. So that is it, it's a very simple, basic shelf with a bit of character. It's a somewhere nice to rest your drink while you're having barbecue. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate when you guys do that. Hi to all my new subscribers and obviously to my current subscribers. Give you a nice big wave. If you're curious of how to make this barbecue hut, I've actually got on my YouTube page, if you actually go to my channel and look up videos. I've actually got a selection of videos from literally from the very start, from the base of this, to obviously what we see now here. Following on to that, there's one more video which I want to do, and that is the wine rack. Because you've got your barbecue, you've got the food, you've got the lovely shelves, you've got some of the rest of your beverage. But the problem is now, you'll go back into the house, you'll grab your beer or your wine, you'll grab the glass, it's one other thing to bring up. So that's actually what I'm going to build in the next video is a nice wine rack with a little place where you can actually hang your glasses as well. So please stay tuned, subscribe, like, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, thank you for watching. Kind of looks like a bit of a, like the saucer section of the Enterprise. You know what I mean? It's not though. How about two little tiny enterprises you're in? Kind of like two little tiny enterprises. Kind of like two little tiny enterprises. Grow up.